Today we're going to look at some of the items that make us a lot of money all the time. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at some of the items that make us money routinely, day in and day out. These sorts of items sell for us all the time. We sell a lot of photos. I sell photos all the time. Probably almost every single day of the week I sell a few photos of some sort. Now these are from a dance marathon. Now we've been selling these for quite some time. About a year and a half ago I got a huge massive lot. I haven't even listed all of these honestly at this point. Now this one as well as a whole bunch of others sold for around $40 plus shipping on these. Now I combined them so the shipping wasn't so bad. So the only cost in these items is the 13% or so fees that I have to pay eBay. Other than that, I have nothing into this. I already got my money back the first week within the first two days of me starting to list these. I sold the good ones right off the bat and everything else from here on out has been gravy. This month alone, just from this one purchase here, we've made $270 back pretty much all profit from that. Again, it's already been paid for. This is how our business works all the time. So again, 40 bucks on this one. I'm only showing you a few from this person's purchase. They bought, I think, like nine items, around $300 they spent just them on just this sort of thing here. Another 40 bucks again. Fees are all I have into this, nothing more. And another one here, 40 bucks. Very happy with that sort of sale. Again, this is all profit, total gravy. Nothing else I have to worry about with these other than the fees, it's taken out. So at the end of the day under managed payments, I just get all my money back the profit wise. Now here's something interesting that most people don't mess with. They just don't list. These are from a local high school in their senior um, like class photos of all of the students from a high school here in this general area. Now I snag these up every time. I don't care if I know who's in them or not. If they're modern day from the 80s and 90s, I always sell them, always. These were identical. One had a little minor issue with it, so I didn't mind selling it. I got 20 bucks out of these. I have literally almost nothing into it. It was just thrown in a big lot. No one's going to think this is going to be something you're going to actually get some money up. But I sold them for 10 bucks each, basically, on this. All to the same person. Now, pins, badges, and things like that, I always do extremely well. Now, I listed this as 1920s by the construction. Uh, the person who bought it actually says it's from the uh, World War II era. Either way, it's a very nice piece. Uh, I got $20 plus shipping out of this one as well happy as can be on that a nice sale especially when you look at the condition it has some issues with it but this is still a very rare item now this is like an id security badge to get a employee onto the plant so it's just one of those interesting um, i guess like an id check you might want to say now here's another one of those freebie items. A bunch of these were setting out a sale. I got a whole bunch of these. The radios and all, everybody snagged up really quick. They didn't even look around. There was a stack of these over there and I got them for like a dollar for a big old stack of these. Who's gonna want uh, something like this? But it did sell for the price listed there. It's just the instruction booklet from this. Again, the, the clock radio itself isn't really collectible either. It's only worth a few bucks, but it's an interesting item. It's an excellent condition. Someone probably has the radio and they wanted the booklet to go with it. So I have nothing into it, maybe a nickel at best. Now luggage labels I always do very well and you can see the price. I put it on sale and it went off pretty much straight off the way. Yokohama, very well known. This one's early, this one would date from the 1920s. Excellent graphics on these, that's why they do so well. I sell luggage labels pretty much every single week I would say. Several of them in the same price range, plus probably a few other cheaper ones. Postcards, you know I sell a ton of those. I took 25 on this one. It's been up for a little while. It's a dollar or less item for me, so who really cares? It's included in my free 75,000 listings with the store level that I have it on eBay. So again, I have nothing into buying it, nothing into listing it basically. So the only fees coming out are the final value fee, 13%. Everything else is mine on something like this. Now here's a rather interesting one. This one sold because of the maker, the markings on it as stated in the title. I got almost 70 bucks plus shipping out of this. It's a little tin bank from Germany. It's early. It's in excellent condition though. That's the key to it. 
the condition is everything on these these just don't survive from this age you can judge it by the date wise by looking at the graphics also very happy this one's been up for quite some time like 18 months to two years again i have nothing into listing it i have nothing into purchasing it so who cares if it runs for a while so just out of the clear blue we made almost 70 bucks on something that's just been sitting there so that's how this works i sell stuff like this constantly stuff that's been up for a very long time sells religiously all the time quantity works great in this field comic books i do sell quite a bit of these are some i've had up for a little while now this is the wildcats it's the original run issue zero through four so one two three four unfortunately i was missing issue five from this run had i had issue five i would have been able to list it as a complete run through there it would have sold better we got 30 bucks out of this plus they paid shipping these are a quarter a piece purchase in a big bulk lot that i have i separated out the good ones like this i sold them in lots and then i bulk lotted all the rest up and sold them that that way records we sell all the time every single day i'm selling records i put it on sale it did sell for the sale price 35.65 and it went on out they paid shipping as well now i love product labels i buy them anytime i can get a big bulk lot of them got a bunch of these here's a nice one i bought a bunch of royston labels it's a well-known brand this one went for just under 30 bucks plus they paid shipping on it Photo stuff I do extremely well, and I took 30 bucks plus shipping on these here. They've been in my inventory for quite some time. I have literally nothing into them. I bought a huge, massive lot at an auction a year and a half, two years ago, and I still have some leftovers. It's all profit minus the final value fees of 13%. No big deal whatsoever in my book. Magazines I sell almost daily as well. This is Holiday Magazine. I took 20 bucks on it. It's a dollar purchase for me. This is one of those list it and just forget about it. Just put Put it up and then never think about it until it sells again i do that with a lot of items they do continuously sell i do pop some items on sale i didn't have to do the magazines on sale most of the magazines i do fairly well especially the holiday and some of the other lines trade cards i do quite well and this is a larger size this is when it was more like a quack medicine this is a vaseline petroleum jelly confectioners it has brooklyn bridge on it too very nice item it's a large one though so i don't do quite as well on the large ones but it did sell fairly well as you can see now here's an item i did shout this one out on instagram i had some requests to see this one a little closer see a little more information on it all this is is a warranty card from 1940 from china for a pocket watch or wrist watch back then rather interesting piece the graphics are just simply amazing on this one now i sold this one as an offer to somebody for 150 dollars person's been buying from me for quite some time so i'm happy with that price i have almost nothing into this this was bought in a big bulk lot so maybe a dollar or less into this individual piece here luggage labels as i said you can see the price this one sold off for the full price 34.50 again these are one of those put it up and forget about it i have more of this exact same one as well many cases i can get a stack of these sometimes at an auction a printer sale a business going under sale or something like that these are routinely selling for us same one same everything now, I love tie tacks and pins. I collect some tie tacks and pins. I used to have to wear a tie every day of my life, so I've got a huge selection of them. This one showed up in an assortment I was buying for myself. Daybrook is a line, and it sold for 20 bucks plus shipping on this one. I Again, I don't care if these set for any length of time. I may have a nickel into this. Most people don't realize that something that small, just something like this that would stick on a tie, a utilitarian item, something used daily, would carry any kind of value. But I do extremely well on this sort of thing. It's an advertising piece as well. Art-related items I do extremely well all the time. This is for a card advertising his wares. He does portraits. You can see the date on it. This one went for 75 bucks. I took an offer on it. Somebody sent one in. Very happy with that. It's been around for about, say, eight months or so. I've got $2 into this card, purchased with a whole bunch of other cards. Everything that day was $2. If I wanted it, $2. If I didn't, oh well, I passed on it. So one of the ones I nabbed up for 2 bucks. Now, sheet music is another one of those areas I sell constantly. I have thousands of sheet music up. They always sell for us. Now, this one I sent out an offer to watchers at $34.50, and someone snagged it up for $34.50. I have literally nothing into this one. This one was free. Excellent item. I do extremely well on sheet music. That's what I have for you today. 
Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thought. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Again. Thank goodness for Chef Boyard!